haven't done a video for a long time, so I thought what I'd do is I'd go through uh, something that I had to to do uh, the other week in church, and that was an accompaniment from Make You Feel My Love. I think it's originally written by Bob Dylan, and uh, another famous artist that did this was, was Adele. So this is kind of in the key, uh, it's, it's in the key of B flat, uh, which is the key that Adele recorded this in. And the way I'm achieving that is by putting the uh, capo on the third fret, and I'm gonna be playing chords uh, just like this, the, the regular, as if I'm in playing in the key of G. All right, so uh, there's a sheet you can download with those regular chords that uh, I found online, and um, I'll be using those. But this this arrangement is um, is a little bit um, more interesting than this, than what you might find just by playing the chords. Because here's the chords: you're playing this G. Then you go to D, then they go to F, and then C, then C minor, and then G, A7, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a bass line which goes along with this, which which makes the makes the chords a little bit more interesting, and I'm going to change some of the chords a little bit where it where it fits the melody, and uh, I'll be playing this finger style. So let me show you how that goes. So the first chord I'm playing is the G shape. Now instead of just a D, what we have is we've got we've got G, D, F, and C. So what we're playing in the bass there is we're playing G, F sharp, F, and then E. So it's a descending bass line which fits those chords. So you play, play the G like this, and then instead of just the regular D chord, you, you can play the F in F sharp in the bass, and then you go down to the, the F chord, and then instead of just a straight C chord, you're putting the uh, the third the third of that chord in the bass, which is the E, and then it goes to uh, what would be a C minor. So I'm just adding that chord right there, which is kind of an unusual way of playing the, the C minor chord. You can play it like that, but uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I can also play the melody along with it, which is which is kind of cool. Uh, to play the instrumental and to play the introduction. So we got that uh, C minor, uh, which is, and then goes, goes to the G, and then there's an A7. So instead of, instead of putting that note there, which would be a what? So a seven, which is like a, a, a uh, which is like a nine, makes it, it's like a nine chord. All right, so that's the verse. Now we have a bridge which goes from goes from C to G. So and then then there's a B7. Da, 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 which is kind of interesting. So I'm just adding some kind of some bass notes. That's a nine chord, that's an A9. So you got the seventh there, and then to the D7. So that's basically it. So what you can do for the, the solo is, so you can, I'm playing that on, on the second string. And I'm playing, here I'm playing this um, uh, D with the F sharp in the bass, D slash F sharp. So I'm just picking out the melody. And then, now I'm doing this. So 
So hey, so I'm playing that uh, D. Um, what is, it would be a C minor major seven. Now and I'm adding this, the melody over here, and then the G chord. So I'm just playing open strings. I hope you find that useful. Uh, you can get the download. Just click the link down below. Don't forget to subscribe and um, hit the like button if you like this. And as always, I'd like to say, stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.